Hello guys, Robert one here coming to you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! hand testing video and in today's hand testing video we're just going to be doing some hand tests with my updated Necros deck profile basically to show you some of the hands you can potentially get, some of the combos you can have and we're going to see what we can actually do with it. So, without further ado let's actually get into this because I want to show you guys some of the combos you can do and some of the hands you can get with this deck seeing as this deck is actually really explosive at times and can also go second pretty easy even though I made a video the other day saying going second sucks which it does um, but this hand deck can go second pretty easy and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that so without further ado let's get into it with the first hand test of the video with the deck over there like I've got the tripod in the middle here so it's a bit awkward so please excuse me if I am doing it in a little awkward way and first hand we don't even need these cards we've got decibel 003 so what we're going to show you guys today is the well the first hand is going to be the full decibel 003 combo so start by normal summoning your decibel 003 <laughs> Um, and then we're going to go ahead and summon from the deck Despot 001. Now, obviously, this hand, even without the free, is really, really nice because you've got the preparation of rides, you've got the Brio, you've got the Klauselist. So you pretty much have got everything to do what you really want. But this is pretty much the one, the hand that you can do a one card combo with, where you literally just go full combo, you end on the best potential board you can actually end on in this deck. And that's what I'm going to show you in this, in this first hand test that literally. This this deck can make one card explosive board and still have the other four cards in his hand. So we go ahead and make the Halky Firebrax, and we go ahead and make the zero zero one, and then we're going to go ahead and turn those into an Aurorodon. Aurorodon will then go ahead and summon out free tokens for you guys. Now, because we summoned free machine monsters, we get to trigger both zero zero ones in the graveyard and summon them both. Now, <laughs> guys, we have level three monsters. And two level one tuners. What we're going to do in Necro's deck with this, we're going to turn the tokens into Herald of Arc Lights. So we're going to go ahead and turn the first one into an Arc Light, and we're going to send the other one to the grave and get rid of the next token, and turn that into an Arc Light. These tokens are over there. Um, uh, then we're going to go ahead and overlay the two Herald of Arc Lights, and we're going to summon a Digesto Emerald. And then going to go ahead and trigger the Digesto Emerald, sending the Arc Light to the graveyard. And what we're going to do is we're going to target the Huck Firebrat, the Arc Light, the Huck Firebrax, and the 001. Now, because we're in the TCG, uh, the uh, TCG of the EUs and, and not Japan or uh, America, we get to trigger the Arc Light that we just put back into our extra deck. So, after we draw with Douglas to Emerald, we will, we will get a search. So, what we're going to do is shuffle up these. Because it hit the graveyard still, we still get to do it. Because it is an if effect, not a when. So, go ahead and shuffle that up, draw a random card. We drew an Ash Blossom, so that basically makes our hand even better right now. Um, and then we go ahead and trigger the Herald of Arclight. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this as if we don't have uh, these cards. So these cards we'll just, we'll just put over here for now, because we're going to try and do it with just one card. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the Necros of Unicorn to our hand. So, already have the Necros of Unicorn. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to add the Necros of Unicorn because we're trying to make sure, guarantee that we get the Christia. What we're first going to do is we're going to add, add the Necros Cycle. The Monster Reborn Ritual Spell. So we get the Cycle. Then we're going to go ahead and trigger Aurorodon. Now what Aurorodon is going to do is we're going to send the Emerald and we're going to send the Token to the Grave. And we're going to go ahead and search, summon from our deck a... Where is it? Where is it? A Coltwing. So, now that we've summoned the Cult Wing, we trigger the Cult Wing as Chaining 1, and we trigger the uh, Herald in the Grave as Chaining 2. And with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a Necros of Brianak. Now, the reason we're getting the Necros of Brianak first is pretty much because, like, you don't have the Benten yet, so you need a way to have, like, some plays. And also, this can also just end up being a better overall, um, seeing as these two cards just are uh, some of the best cards in the deck. So, having these two is, all, is pretty much better than just not having them, so... Getting these two first, uh, then we go ahead and trigger the cult, resolve the cult wing, summoning these two tokens, and then we get to summon both the 001s back. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it again. We're going to turn both of the 001s into uh, our Dagusta, into our Herald of Arclights. So we summon two Herald of Arclights out, and then we overlay the Herald of Arclights. <laughs> and we summon out the 
Number 60, Duragaeus. Now, this du Duragaeus, um, what this does is, uh, we're going to detach two materials, so the two Herald of Arclights, and we're going to summon the Arc Arclight for you American players that was in the graveyard already. So now we get to trigger both the uh, Herald of Arclights in the grave to search two ritual cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and search from our deck to our hand a... That can literally be anything. So first we obviously have to get the Ben 10, just to guarantee that we can uh, make the Christia. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get a Necros of Unicorn. Just so we have the Unicorn in hand. So now we've got pretty much everything we need to go all the way. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and overlay these two. And we're going to go ahead and summon the Abyss Dweller. We're then going to go ahead and use the Brionic in our hand. And we're going to go ahead and search from our deck to our hand. A Necros of Classless. We're going to then trigger the Classless. And we're going to search us a Kaleidoscope. So, we've got... We're going to have three fairies in our hand, um, but before we go ahead and use the Necros Mirror, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Necros Cycle, sending the Ben 10 to the graveyard, summoning out the Brionic, and then the Ben 10 will trigger, which will go ahead and add our Christia to our hand. So, we got ne we got our uh, Arc Lord Christia in our hand now, but we've only got three fairies in the graveyard, so how are we going to go even further? Well, I'm going to show you how we're going to go even further. We still have three cards left. First of all, we're going to activate the Kaleidoscope, sending the only other level four in our extra to the graveyard, which is a fairy and it's Unts to the grave, um, to summon out the Necros of Unicorn. Now, guys, because we sent the Unts, we don't have to trigger its effect, so don't worry about that. But we currently have, because we sent the Unts, one, two... Three, four fairies. Now, you could also do this another way without summoning the unicorn. You could just detach the uh, Herald of Arc Light from the Dweller so you can get an additional search. But I did it this way. I do it this way just because that way we can summon the unicorn and have the Christia because Christia doesn't let you special summon. So the last thing we're going to do here is, guys, we're going to go ahead and summon the Christia because we've got four fairies in the graveyard. We're going to return a Herald of Arc Light to our extra deck so we can have that in our extra deck for future uh, unicorn plays. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead, for the last play, trigger the Dweller <laughs> to go ahead and add us a Necros of Valkyrus, so we also have a way to stop our opponent from attacking. So, pretty much from this one card combo, we still have all the cards, all the cards that we started off with, these four cards right here that we didn't even need to use, we drew an additional card, which was an Ash Blossom, and we also had a Necros of Valkyrus that we could guarantee off the last Herald of Arclight. So that is just the first hand, and that was just a full one card combo, guys. Now, obviously, you could have done, you could do this a lot easier. Say your opponent Ash Blossom in the Despot 001. Um, if they do that, then you still have all of these cards to go ahead and make a unicorn with. Um, and you can still go a bit further there. You probably won't be able to summon the Christia, but you could still do things. Um, you could have like a unicorn with a Brionic and also maybe something else if you really wanted to. Um, but like this is kind of like the hands that you kind of get and like it's just like one card okay we we just put all the rest of the hands to the side and then we just go from there but that's just the first test hand uh, let's go on to an, another one to show you guys what the deck can do with other hands because obviously that was just the one card combo that that literally is what everything you can do with just one card in this deck and that's kind of like why I like this deck so much because uh, dumb one card combo <laughs> like literally being able to just go plus uh, one, two, plus seven of one card is like insane. So let's go ahead and test the next hand and we'll get onto that. So shuffle it up, shuffle it up and we'll see what we can do. All right. So next test hand, Imponents, Unicorn, Mirror, <laughs> zero, zero, three and Unicorn. Now, I've just shown you what the full one card combo is, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, but outside of this hand, the only thing we can do is the one card combo. Um, so literally, if you wanted to do the one card combo, you can literally just do what we just did in the video. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a different hand um, to show what the deck can do. Because literally, one card combo right there. Like literally, whenever you see zero zero three, it's just the full one card combo. So I don't really want to. I don't really want to just showcase you the one card combo. Like if we get a hand with it, I'm going to be honest and say, oh, this is just the one card combo. So we don't need to go any further. But we're going to see what else we can get with the uh, hands in this deck. 
So let's see what we can do. Hopefully this hand is a bit different, so we can see. So we got an Ash Blossom, a Christia. Full combo. I mean, outside of the full combo, this hand is pretty bad again. Like, guys, I'm like... You don't need these. Well, well, you need this one, of course. You need this one, and you kind of need this one for future things. But we've got a second one in the deck, so don't need, really need this one. But literally, just full one card combo. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you can see how consistent the one card combo is just by openings one despot zero zero three. Am I right, Yu-Gi-Oh players, or am I right? Um, but yeah, that's the, that's zero zero three combo right there. Um, come on, let's, let's, let's get something else. Let's draw, like, a Despot 001 with, like, a way to summon a Ritual Monster. Because that's pretty much the same combo, but it's slightly different depending on what you do. Um, <clears throat> so, next hand. Kaleidoscope, Impa, Rota, Ash, Vector Villa, and Unicorn. Okay, so this hand, this hand is different. This hand you're not going to be doing a combo with. What you're going to basically be doing is this. So, what you do is, you start off by activating the Necros of Kaleidoscope. And you're obviously going to go ahead and send a Herald of Arclight to the graveyard and summon out the Necros of Unicorn. We go ahead and tribute, trigger the uh, Necro Herald of Arclight, and we're going to go ahead and search from our deck to our hand, wherever it is, Ben 10. So pretty much you're going to search the Ben 10 from this, and then you're going to use the Reinforcements of the Army. So you send the Reinforcements of the Army to the graveyard, and we're going to go ahead and search out the Colossalus. So now that we've got the Colossalus in our hand, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use it. And we're just going to go ahead and get us literally any ritual spell. It doesn't really matter, so we'll just get Unicorn Cycle. Um, and that's pretty much where that turn ends. Like, honestly... Uh, it's kind of a weak turn, but when you really think about it, it's not... And actually, we shouldn't have added the Ben 10 now that I think about it. Because, like, this is if you're going to make the Christia, and you only add this when you want to make the Christia, but what you could, what I should do instead, really, is put this back, and we should get, from our deck to our hand, a Brianak, and what we get, instead of get with the Brianak, we just go ahead and get a Valkyrus, so then our opponent can't attack us. And then we've got that kind of game state on board, so it's, like, di slightly different. Uh, but... You would still go ahead and use the rotor and and search the class list to get like literally any necros mirror from your deck, and then you have literally three hand traps in your hand, uh, one to stop the battle phase, one to stop a two to stop a monster effects. So, yeah, you're like this is literally the better type of way to do it if you're gonna do that. I shouldn't you shouldn't add the Ben Ten unless you can actually make the Christia because literally if we had one other card like if this was a preparation of rights 100% add the um, Ben 10 because then you can get the Brianak and then the Brianak can search classless then you have a Brianak to search with the cycle um, but because it's a rotor you don't do it that way now that was a different hand obviously it looks a lot weaker than what we could do with like a one card explosion but literally if you can do that and you open if you open that and 001 it's pretty much full combo again so um, let's go ahead and do one more test hand just to see what else we can do with it and then we'll call it a video so Go ahead and shuffle it up, shuffle it up, and go ahead and open. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this hand is pretty much the same stuff. We literally just go, we just literally just do this. We trigger this, we send this to the grave, and we summon this. That's all we do with this hand. <laughs> um, if you go second, though, oh my god, okay. Um, unicorns are free! Unicorns are free! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's all you can do with that hand. You literally just summon Unicorn, pass with an effect Villa in hand. Oh, wow. Um, just, wow, we're going to separate those. Like, those are way too close together. Um, so, yeah. That was, uh, that was a test hand. Like, let's see what... Let's draw an actual hand that we can just do something else with. Because I kind of want to see if we can open a hand that we can just do the... Um, either the Despot 001 combo with a way to summon another monster. Or a way to just do Christy with one card. So this is 001. And, okay, now, now that combo's dead. Um, <laughs> literally, opening this is terrible. But it's fine if you open this with a ritual spell. Because then you can just shuffle this back with... Um, uh, with the Gusta Emerald, so it's fine, but literally, this hand, it's... It, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. So now that we've gotten the good hands, we're opening the bad hands, so we'll start Goblin. We get a Rota and a Christian as the next card, so... Um, but yeah, uh, that's the that's a hand. <laughs> that's a hand! Um, okay. Uh, that is definitely, definitely a hand. Um, 
well, we're just getting bad hands now, aren't we? Um, you know what? Let's cut the deck. Let, let's cut the deck. Let's cut the deck a bit. Okay, so we draw Brio and Ash. We draw Valkyrus. We draw an Upstart Goblin, and we draw reinforcements in the army. Uh, we draw. If we go second, we get an effect of it. No, we definitely get the effect of it because we're going to use the Upstart Goblin. Um, so this hand is. Mm, it's good. It's good. We can see what we can do with this hand. So we go ahead and start off with the Rotor. Rotor is going to go ahead and add to our hand the Colossalus. Um, dogs barking in the background, sorry if you can hear that. Uh, one Colossalus, and we're going to use the Colossalus, and we're going to use add a Necros of Scythe. We're going to go ahead and add a Necros of... No, do we add the Necros Cycle with this hand? No, we add the Kaleidoscope. So we go ahead and add the Kaleidoscope, wherever that is. Um, and then we go ahead and use the Brianax, send that to the graveyard. And we're going to go ahead and search out a Necros of Unicorn. From our deck to our hand. And yeah, pretty much we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Kaleidoscope, summon Unicorn, send the Herald, search pretty much any ritual card you want from your deck to your hand. Um, with this, I guess adding another Unicorn isn't bad. Um, like if we had one more ritual spell, we could go ahead and get Ben 10. Uh, and then we could go ahead and do stuff from there. But we didn't open that, so what we're probably going to do instead is, yeah, just add a Unicorn so we can have that recursion because we've already got three of them in the graveyard. Uh, and then we've got three hand traps and a Unicorn on board. But guys, that's the hand. That's the hand testing. I'm, like, you can open 003s. There is another combo where you can literally just, like, open a way to summon another monster, 001, and do the whole thing you did or we did in the other hands. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. If we went, if next turn we would have drawn that. Um, but... That's going to be the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, we did see some bad hands. We did see some good hands. Um, obviously, like this card being able to be looped in Necros is absolutely degenerate. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, Necros deck profile, guy. Uh, well, the ne Necros hand testing video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. Obviously, I will, give, I will answer those questions. And I will see you guys in the next one. We're all about one. Signing out. <laughs> Necros without the Needle Fiber combo? Balanced. Necros with the Needle Fiber combo? Busted. Um, <laughs> later all. Roll that one. Sign.